Hi, Coach. Just kind of talk about the bye week and just how do you feel about the team, you know, halfway through? Yeah, I think uh, that was good work today. We, uh, we went on Sunday, and then we did some younger guys yesterday practice-wise, which was awesome. And then today, it was good work. Over two hours, and these guys were getting after it, really focusing on ourselves of just getting better ourselves and then we'll really dial into Cal here now as we move move forward but like the effort and the energy and I think it's been a, a good week so far. The other coaches have talked about the self-scouting process that you guys are doing this week. What do you see that needs most improvement in the next six weeks? Right you know I think each side of the ball and in special teams those guys really took a deep dive into it um, and I'm kind of curious I haven't I've seen what they've come up with exactly um, it's a glaring thing to me is like, we just got to keep working the next six weeks, just keep improving. And if we can do that, you know, we can put some quality football and get over the hump. I mean, that's the big picture focus is like, well, we're halfway here. We're not where we want to be, but we can continue to improve and get over the hump. And we've got six opportunities to do it. With all these young guys getting in the field, what do you think about how they're performing and the responsibility on their shoulders? We're, we got all eyes on it because it's a lot like, yeah, they're playing and they're probably enjoying some of that. But the, you know, week after week, the grind that comes, the expectations of what football demands is one thing, but also then you get into school and school and class and homework and studying. And then most of these guys are away from home for the first time. And so there's just a lot there that, uh, you know, we just got all eyes on it and, and continue to help them develop. How important is it week six, letting some of these guys take that mental break and just- I think leave? it was important. That's why, you know, we're just selective a couple practices during the week, let them take a deep breath, uh, kind of make sure they're focused in on where they're at in class because midterms are coming. Um, so again, I, the bye came at a good time for us. Do you have any injury updates on Reichner, Morris, or Isaiah Dunn? Both uh, Reichner and Dunn did some stuff at practice today. Again, it's so much about like how they respond to right. that. Uh, so we'll put them through it again on, on Sunday. Um, and then who else did you uh, say? Morris. Morris is, yeah, not not close. Yeah. In terms of, in, in terms of now looking towards the bye week, Coach Tibbs and we're kind of talking about the importance of wanting to keep continuing to tackle better. Have you seen yeah. how the live tackling and practice has started to kind of maybe make a difference moving forward? I think those, it, it always makes a difference the more you can do it, but you just got to be smart with how much you're doing it. Um, like we didn't go live today. We did some tackling drills, but we didn't do like 11 on 11 team live. Um, and it's just going to be a, a continuing emphasis, not only really the rest of the season, but all the time. I mean, it's just so critical to be able to get guys on the ground that you gotta you gotta practice. Does player at this point in the season has surprised you with what they're putting on the field? Well, I you know Jamar, I don't want to say he's totally shocked. He thought he was a really good player, but him to be able to do what he's done over six weeks has been pretty special. Um, you know, I'm not surprised. I was optimistic that our old line could play at a high level, and they've done that at times, and especially in the run game. Uh, been happy with the young tight ends and their development and what they've done, but I wouldn't say I was shocked by it. Uh, those guys stand out to me. Has Jake been able to practice yet? He did a little bit limited today. Um, he's still not to the point where, you know, he can move around to the, the ability he's going to need to, and so it's coming. In your time, you know, as OC quarterbacks coach, have you seen a guy that's kind of dealt with a high ankle sprain that's lingered this long? You know, I can't. I, we've dealt high ankle sprains are tough. Yeah. It really is. And in his position, particularly, those movements he needs to make, I mean, it, it, it's tough. And some of these things do take a while. Do you feel like that continuous sort of change at the quarterback position has affected the offense at all? Obviously, Carletto got some snaps in this last game. Right. Just Andrew for Connor. You know, I think connor has got himself in good rhythms during games and played a lot. Um, I don't think it's been a huge factor in our offense in regards to having one quarterback in or out. I mean, Connor's kind of been the mainstay. And uh, like I said, I think he's played some really good games and drives and moments and done a lot of good things. And if tackling has been identified as, you know, one of the main issues for the defense, what has that been for the offense? Well, I, the negative play. I mean, too many sacks, um, shooting ourselves in the foot, because I think we can move the ball running it and, and be explosive in the pass game. We we just got to stay away from negative play. Yep. Sorry if you all been asked this. Has Connor been practicing this week? Not. He didn't go today, which oh. was kind of a – he probably could have, okay. but we kept him out today. We're hopeful on Sunday he'll go.
What do you feel like is the plan? I know you talked about it a little bit, just continue to build. But what do you feel like the plan is to, you know, go into the second half and try to change it around? Well, again, you got to keep on doing work to improve and take advantage of those moments in these games where we're right there. And, you know, that's that's been the mantra from the get-go. It's like compete and improve on it, and, and that's really not changing. Do you think this team is where you were hoping they would be at this point, or how much have they lived up to sort of your own expectations I, you at know, this point? In, in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm happy. You look at them individually, there's a lot of individual guys that have improved, you know, and then uh, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. I don't think our effort has backed down at all. I think I guess you're continuing to compete. So that part, uh, that's where I wanted to be, of guys improving and continuing to compete, play with great effort. Uh, so I'm pleased with that.